Hey, welcome to the Distro Boss podcast. I've got a real quick one for you right now. Um, I've literally just got off a call. Uh, it's my weekly coaching call that I do for free. And it's for all the members of the DistroList platform. Uh, lots of people use a platform, agencies and business. They don't t- typically need to jump on this call, but there are people who are starting out in business um, who want to see how uh, my platform can actually assist them in making money. Um, I have a bunch of different strategies and concepts, frameworks in which you can as- essentially apply to different business models. And, I, you know, we just basically talk them over um, every Wednesday. I just kind of go live and, we, you know, we have this back and forth. But... Um, one of the questions got me today. Uh, I, I answered it, and I felt like that's something that I need to do a video about. I need to I need to get this up on uh, as part of my podcast because it's actually not something that I've I've spoken about. I write about it in my book, actually, the Distroverse. But even there, um, I don't spend too much time on this. Um, but it, I do actually talk about it in the book because it was one of the very early early hustles. Uh, and this isn't like the first business model I ran. This is literally just a quick hustle. Um, like a hack <laughs> to make money that doesn't involve anything to do with creating websites or anything like that. It's literally just through through the, the power of conversation, okay? Simply through words and picking up the phone and spending maybe half an hour um, and you can actually start make you can actually make significant money actually, depending on what it is that you're going to deal with. And I'll, I, you'll you'll need me to explain what what I'm talking about for this to make any kind of sense to you. I know. Um, okay, well, put it this way: the person on the call said this. How do I make money right now? I understand your concepts; they're great, they're simple, right? Um, they take they just take a little bit of time to execute. But how do I make money? Like, if I needed to make money today, uh, what could I do? I said, well, besides sort of peddling something door to door, um, just think about who's in your network, right? And I know some of you might have ideas of where this is going, but I promise you this is this is not going to go that way. This is going to be something, uh, when I explain it, you're going to be like, that's totally common sense, but that isn't what I thought you were going to talk about. Um, it is literally look to your network, all the people that ask you stuff, that ask you for, not favors, but that ask you for advice, uh, or people that talk about certain things that are not necessarily specifically asking you for advice, but they're talking about a problem that they have um, where you normally give uh, solutions as advice um, freely, right? So when people say things like, oh man, I'm struggling with you know tax month this year, I need to do my taxes, or I wanna, I wanna lose weight, <laughs> or um, I wanna buy a new car, this car's, you know, this car's getting old, I need to start thinking about getting a new one. You know, things that people just talk about in conversation. Um, Well, this is where I want you to, like, (laughs) take this this phrase and just burn it into your mind. If this is what you want to do as far as, you know, making money on the side real quick, just, I know a guy. That's what you want to say. You want to say, I know a guy or I know a gal or I know a place. I'll take care of it. I got got just a thing for you. Like, have you ever heard people do that? Like, (laughs) that maybe that... Um, like friends and maybe you know family or just people that you know that they, they seem to always have a guy they always seem to have a person that can actually take care of the thing for you and you know nine times out of ten even if you're you know a bit apprehensive at first you typically kind of see it through to see what they have to offer right um, this is kind of leaning on that <laughs> um, where it's like literally I know a guy so if someone says to you I want a car you know what? Don't worry about it. I got a guy. I get you a great deal. What what is what kind of car are you looking for? What what kind of model? What kind of brand? You let them tell you what it is that they are talking about, and you start. You know, this is actually a sales pitch, but you're not. It's not treated as such because they're just saying, "Here's my problem." You're asking questions, and they're literally telling you what it is that they're looking for, what their problems. I thought they'll tell you how much money they have. These are people within your network, right? And then. All you want to do is just get between the that problem and the solution, uh, and the way you keep it online is the way you keep the way the way you keep these people working with you. Um, a because you have trust with them, uh, they have an established trust and faith relationship with you. But also the fact that um, you know you want to tell them that you know you've got a guy, you've got a solution for them. Just hang tight. Let me get back to you. Uh, I'll take care of this. You know, that's that kind of confidence that you're going to you're going to put forth like you normally do. Like this is the these are the sorts of things that you probably normally say to people that, you know, um, I want to lose weight. Hey, I don't worry about it. You've got to try this diet. You've got to do the keto diet. You've got to take this shake. You've got to take these tablets, you know, or you've got to do this kind of cardio. You know, you've always got the solution, right? Um, I need help with taxes. Oh, hey, look, I know I know a great accountant, right? It's I've got a guy or I've got a gal. Um. What you need to do next is you contact whatever the solution is. So if it's, I want a car, you call a dealership 
and say, hey, look, I'm, you know, if I brought you a customer that would buy this car because they're in the market for a car and I could probably get this person to come and buy this car, if they do that, um, I want to be paid a commission. How much do you pay your current sales staff as far as commission is concerned? Um, I, well, I want to get paid more than that because you're not even paying me a basic salary. But if I want to know if I bring you a customer on a silver platter tomorrow or next week or whenever, I want to know that I'll be paid a commission. Otherwise, I'll take them somewhere else. Most companies are going to say yes to that, whether it's a restaurant with a VIP booking, a nightclub with VIP tables, whether it's a, a fitness, uh, a private trainer, <laughs> you know, um, who has who is looking for clients. This is what companies essentially are spending their everyday money on their advertising budgets on they're, This is what they're paying their human capital uh, budgets on in terms of who they're hiring as far as salespeople and marketing professionals within their companies. They're paying to access customers and you're basically walking to a company and saying, I've got a customer on a silver platter for you. Uh, how much are you going to pay me for me giving that person to you to have them come and buy the thing that you're selling? They're normally going to reward you. And so once you just lock that up in a deal, it's very straightforward. This is where you, you go back to the person in your network who's saying, hey, I want a car or hey, I want to lose weight or hey, I need help with taxes. This is where you literally just say, hey, I've got I've got a guy. Let me just uh, let me come and meet come and meet, you know, so and so at this spot and uh, they'll show you some cars that they have. You know, this is whether they buy or not. Right. This is the, the point is, is that, you know, that if a purchase or if a sale does take place, you know that you're going to get paid. And, you know, if you if it depends on how how keen this person is of yours in your network that wants to buy something, uh, you know, that could translate into money very quickly for you. If it's if it's if it's something something that they need a solution to immediately, like, say, for instance, doing their taxes because you have an expiry date, right? You need to do it by a certain deadline. Um, and so if you know a guy, if you know an accountant um, that charges five hundred dollars for their initial consult consultation on bringing on new clients or something. Uh, and you you structure a deal where you get paid two hundred bucks out of that um, out of that initial initial consultation fee, and you send your person the person in your network over. Um, that's two hundred bucks in your pocket, and that's something that could be done instantly, right? You just think about who's in your network, who's asking certain, who's talking about certain things, uh, and literally just go up to them and say, "I know a guy." That's really it, straightforward. And then, of course, you can build from there. The reason I talk about this in my book is that you take that to the next level, right? Where you know you go to the accountant once, you bring them the customer one time. Uh, you might have thought that was a fluke just because it was one person in your network, and pretty sure if it's just your network we're talking about, you're going to exhaust that network pretty quickly. Um, so. <laughs> Or, you know, the next thing you want to do is if you're working with the accountant or the, the, the car dealership or whatever, if you want to keep working with them, because, of course, the company is going to be happy with you. Right. You just brought them a customer. They'll say, hey, what, can you do this again? How many more people you got like this? Um, you can actually this is an, essentially you becoming um, self-sufficient and being able to work for yourself. And because you, all you need to do then is make sure that that agreement is locked tight for any future sale that you make. Very straightforward. And then figure out all the other ideal buyers out there, who, who they are and where they are, and um, go and figure out how you can signpost them over. And you can do that, like I said, with building up a distribution network of influencers, uh, people, and then also the places and things that already have access to those customers, collaborate with them, create joint ventures with them, set up introducer agreements, set up referral arrangements, anything, whatever you want to call it, you're going to collaborate with whoever it is in the middle that already has access to those customers, and you're going to have those people Start funneling the people that you want, the customers that you want into the business uh, where you have an agreement where you will be paid as a reward uh, for bringing them a, a paying customer. And of course, if you set up joint venture agreements and affiliate arrangements or referral fees or um, re referral arrangements or introduce agreements or whatever you want to call it with these different people, places and things that have access to the customers, all you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking that payment and then cutting everybody else in that you need to cut in in your distribution channel. That's pretty straightforward but that's how you build from there but in terms of what you do right now just look to your personal network find out who find out the uh find out who who wants stuff fixed right now and, and then just tell them you know a guy straight up very straightforward very easy and that's a, that's a simple hack so i'll leave you with that um <laughs> more tips and tricks for for making money just watch this space uh, i'm going to try and drop as many videos as i can on a consistent basis um, you know, anything I talk about in my coaching calls or anything I just come up with or anything, any, any memory that I draw from the past that I think is valuable, I'm going to share here in this, in this setting. So uh, if you like that, stay tuned.